Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Metallurgical Engineering. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss about the difference between blast furnace and DRI process. So, uh, this uh, before that, uh, we are uh, miss, uh, we have to understand this what is a DRI process. Uh, in last video, we have discussed about the blast furnace. So, if you haven't seen that video, you can go and check out that. So, uh, this what is a DRI process? So, in uh, this DRI process, it is the product which is produced by direct reduction of iron ore. So, here we have the raw material which is iron ore and uh, non-cooking coal or natural gas. So, the advantage of this DRI process is that here we can use non-cooking coal, but in blast furnace we require only this, uh, this uh, cooking coal. That is the major uh, disadvantage of that blast furnace process we can say that so uh, uh, it uh, so the process which produces this uh, dri by the reduction of iron ore to by this uh, uh, this reduction agent that is non cooking coal or natural gas so based on that we have different dri process based on if you are using non cooking coal then that process uh, if you are using that non cooking coal as a reducing agent that process is called rotary kiln if you are using natural gas that processes are like uh, this midrex process or we can also known hyl process or some kind of thing called we have a, a, this uh, a phoenix process like that so basically but the this a majority of the uh, DRI process that we call around 75% uh, DRI production is only based on this uh, midrex and around 24% we can say that based on this rotary kiln process. So the main principle of this process is that uh, DRI is the product which is produced by direct reduction of iron ore or iron bearing uh, this uh, materials in the solid state. So in the solid state only by using non cooking coal or natural gas so process which produce dri by reduction of iron ore below the melting point of the iron are normally known as dri process direct reduction process so in this we don't have any kind of indirect reduction like in blast furnace we have from fe2o3 is changing into fe3o4 then fe3o4 into feo then feo into final iron here the iron ore, iron ore which is if it is Fe2O3 that is directly changed into Fe by using non-cooking coal that could be carbon or you have natural gas that could be H2R CO like that. So here if you come to this figure which is also means uh, this which is again it is uh, submitted in our uh, this uh, Meta Expo 2022. So in this if you can see in this schematic diagram the first one is showing the blast furnace which use 100% carbon monoxide. And these three process, the second, third, and fourth, these three are the DRI based process. So the uh, in which we can see this one is soft one, a uh, soft furnace, which is also known as uh, this midrex process. And then we have uh, HY REX process, which is fluidized bed converter like this. And this uh, in this we are using uh, we are using uh, this. Uh, uh, green hydrogen 100% so why it is showing green because again uh, from environmental point of view uh, this uh, nowadays we are um, this um, uh, we are uh, this uh, moving to hydrogen steel making process because we wanted to reduce the carbon footprint uh, from the industry because you see in this blast furnace it is highly energy uh, this uh, uh, energy sensitive process and in and in this the uh, high amount of uh, uh, co2 uh, emission is there but again uh, they are modifying the process uh, to uh, to this reduce the co2 emission or they are going into some uh, hydrogen based process but again if you are moving to the hydrogen based process there might be the some difficulties that the production uh, the production rate can be uh, you can say that it cannot be achieved by using hydrogen steel making process but overall we have to move to the uh, to the we have to see the uh, optimized thing i mean we can also reduce the co2 emission 
but in that in 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 that same time we need to check the production rate as well so these things are like this so in this video we can say that the difference between the dri and blast furnace is discussed so in dri as i said that in this weekend the major difference we can say that in dri we need we can use non cooking coal but in blast furnace we required the cooking coal and uh, in dri process we can also use the natural gas like here you can see the green hydrogen uh, natural gas uh, we means we can use but in blast furnace we required the carbon monoxide which is used as the reduction agent so that's why we are uh, uh, using cooking coal as the one of the coke as one of the raw material here we can directly use the uh, non cooking coal but in blast furnace that cooking coal has to be converted into the coke so again uh, we need to make this in separate plant that we call coke making plant or coke oven plant where these things has to be done again there a lot of carbon footprint is there but yeah we can modify the process by using some of the advanced technique so the major difference as i said that in this we have to use cooking coal in this we can use non cooking coal and in dri also we can uh, use the fines and that uh, that kind of thing can be directly uh, put it in, into the furnace like kiln or you are using soft furnace or this whatever you are using that you can use uh, yes so and in dri the majority of the mm, production has been contributed using this uh, mid rex process around 75% and 24% is through this uh, rotary kiln process and also this process is uh, cheaper as compared to the blast furnace one main advantage we can see and it, and this process uh, the product uh, this whatever you are getting that is in the form of molten steel the liquid one here we are getting the product in the form of solid form which is direct reduced iron we can also called as sponge iron So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question, please write down in the comment section. We can answer your, your queries. And also you can follow us on our uh, social media platform like Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. Yeah, thank you so much.